Hello, everybody. How's everybody doing? We got our Bella here today. Bella, say hello. Show them the little dance. Come on, we were, we were practicing this. Yeah, we're, we're going bullish. We're going bullish. <laughs> bullish, bullish. Bullish, bullish. How's everybody doing today, man? We got some big things happening in life and everywhere else. If you're in the building, say hello. Before we begin, we've got a lot to talk about today. Put your stocks on the bottom and let's talk about the big move that we just had and how we discussed it and what's going on, all the good stuff. So if you're new here, welcome, please, please. If you're in, say hello. You know, we already know Jim's going to say hello, James Hayden, Gigi, all the regulars are going to be here saying hello for sure. But we got a lot to come today. So if you're new here, please let, let me know if you want me to go over any stocks. I'm here to help you to go over any stocks you want. Casa, what's up, man? How are you? Welcome, welcome. Silent but a deadly man. Welcome, James. Jared Lindsay in the house, another one of our paid, a lot of paid members here today. Kelly Myers, welcome. Hello, hello. Casa right away with the WBD. So let's talk about what, what happened this week, man. Last week, I told you guys, I'm expecting big moves. And the reason I told you is because we were in a consolidation. Looked like we were popping off. So I want to go over that first. And I really hope that we're starting to look at what's going on and how we're predicting things, because uh, that's really what it's about. Uh, just everybody, you know, Bella wanted to say hello to you, to you personally today. So, Bella, go ahead, go ahead. Tell them hi. Say hi. There you go. Good girl. There's my, okay, good girl. Say bye. We're bullish? Yeah, show them the bull. All right. Mwah. Bella, we're going to go, okay? Thank you for the likes. I saw some hearts popping in over here. All right, so if you're in the building, say hello. A lot of people, hellos. I love it. I love it. I love it. Um, all right, so let's discuss what we saw this week and what's going on and what's happening. <clears throat> Timothy Hendricks, what's up, man? How are you? Oh, yeah, that one. All right, so last week we talked about a certain move of sorts, and I'm going to show you exactly what we talked about. So if you want to go back, check out the live, you're more than welcome to. Hello, Kamar Cunningham in the building. There's a lot of you not saying hello. I'm about to say hello to you. Timothy Hendricks, I see you. Kelly Myers said hello. Good girl. Thank you. So this is where we were at last week, right there. You could see that we had a big upswing right here on Tuesday. And I said, hey, guys, big moves are coming. We got came off a consolidation. Guess what? Here it is. Jeremy Unger, what's up, man? I just got your messages from last live. I'm glad you got a lot of value. Welcome, welcome. So he's at, you actually seem very new here. So looking forward to talking to you, man. And I saw you booked a call with us today. You know, one of the things we really preach ourselves about is community. We're really big on that. So that's one of the things we love to support each other here. There's a lot of members in this group. So Jeremy, if you have any questions whatsoever, uh, please let us know. That's what we're here for, man. No judgment on any questions at all. Good, good, man. Timothy, I'm glad you're doing good, man. Randy Duff, what's up? Junior Johnson, welcome. So yeah, man, we, we talked about this move here and guess what we got? A huge bullish week as expected. And now we're going to talk about what's going on today and how we're going to really manage this specific situation here. So to me, we're in a very interesting spot, aren't we? Mm -hmm. You know, we've been going up pretty high. Now, what happens here is we just hit the 200-day moving day average, and it looks to me like we're breaking it. Mm -hmm. So the question is, man, is this going to be a big run? Is it or not? What's going on? Walter Rom Romashko, what's up, man? Um, you know, this is a tough move. And I'm going to tell you, I don't think we're going to have a huge bullish run as people may be thinking, I thought this was going to happen. Now, it makes sense for us to see it go to 448. I think it will eventually. But when you're seeing so many days in a row, like that, you know, I don't. I see maybe one or two days of a retracement, especially when it's hitting 200-day moving day average. You know, it could happen. You know, and I'm looking over here. It has happened before. I'm just, but this is, uh, this is a little bit of a tougher move. I'm going to say we might have a little bit of a move to the top, maybe to 435 tops, 
And then we're going to see a little bit of a retracement. My goal is to see this go up to 435 and maybe retrace to 430 and then continue going up. Uh, overall, the market is continuing to rebound. I mean, it looks like, you know, as we talked about recession and everybody's scaring. And I keep telling you guys, you listen to the news, um, you're going to feel the blues. <laughs> you know, that's what's going to happen. You, you're, you're scared of the recession. All of a sudden, the market keeps re, re, retracing back up. So I don't know what's going on here. Jamie Drilling, what's up? So, yeah, so that's what I'm seeing right now. I'm seeing a nice move to the top. I think we should be really paying attention to this. Uh, do you think we're going to – what do you think? Um, could you bring up the Fibonacci from the high of January to this low? I think – January? Better. Yeah, so the high. Okay. Right um, and I think you're at a pretty critical level. So, yeah, you said like 435. 435. That's about the 62 nominal on the – it can very well get up to that high and, like you said, potentially pull back a bit. And I think, yeah, and it, exactly. So if it, if it breaks its channel, yeah, great. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Good for the channel. Yummy, yummy in my tummy. But <laughs> I think uh, there might be a little bit of a retracement. So just be careful. Uh, anything that's stretched usually means we might see something. So mm -hmm. that's my two cents on the Marketo. Mm -hmm. And then the volume decreases. Yeah, the volume's decreasing, but again, it's a little early, so it's yeah. still pretty strong volume, man. So I don't even want to say volume. Everything's moving up. It is a little bit harder to read than the last time. It was very obvious last time. Yeah. Right now, I would say long term, I'm bullish. You know, I'm seeing it break through pretty well. I just want to make sure we don't have a short term retracement. That's all. Uh, Aaron Chala, how are you? Ronaldo Ginter, Reva Lopez, a lot of new people here. Well, not Aaron. <laughs> relatively, um, relatively relatively new yep, yeah yep, yep, absolutely um so yeah let's and of course welcome to anybody who is new so now what we're going to do we're going to go over different stocks so our job is to go over the stocks for you to see what's going on and again guys if you haven't checked out our um webinar yet definitely check it out you know if you're new here comment webinar below it'll definitely help you see how we make money on the market for sure so what do we got going on here? WBD and PLTR so far. WBD. All right. Uh, WBD. So this one here looking like we had a really strong point to the downturn. Now, some things might say, I think this is from Casa. Long time no talker to Casa. <laughs> But it's way below its averages right now. So, yeah, it looks pretty decent, like it might break this channel. But when I see stuff like this, when it's below all of these, it's a little bit tough to really predict anything. I'd like to see this a little bit higher. I'd like to see this a little bit higher. Um, you know, the volume's okay, but I'd like to see it get past 15 before we even think about doing that. So I would say let's break this line first. You know, and then we could look at really getting some momentum in the stock. Until then, though, be careful because you could see a bunch of bounces to the side you don't want. Those are my two cents on that one. What's that? PLTR. PLTR. PLTR, again, very similar, slightly different. Jose Perez, welcome, man. Again, guys, any stocks you want me to go over, please comment them below. Um, so yeah, over here, it looks like to me, we have a, a nice channel and it's going in the upward direction. And so I like where I'm seeing here because I think it could go to the upside again. But again, you don't ever want to predict something like that. You want to get confirmation. Confirmation to me is if it breaks this line, we're going back to the up, up channel. So get it around 10 and a half. That's a good entry point. And I think we're going to see it go to 12. Okay. Yeah. Cool, cool, cool. Okay, I see a lot of stocks coming through. Some of our paid members specifically. JDST. ST. Oh, it is. Huh? I'm sorry, it sounds like a gold type stock. It is, the gold miners. Oh, okay. Uh, yeah, so a lot of these look kind of like, okay, so this one is something I would put on a watch. There's a lot of good things happening to it. One of the things, if you notice, it had a very big downtrend and now it just broke through it. It is not very convincing just yet, but look at that momentum going to the upside. I love that. And I'm seeing a nice turn. If this crosses right here, I'm telling you, last time it crossed here, here, and here. You know, let's look over here. Big move there. You know, huge move there. And what was the other one? 
another big move here. So these crosses are huge. So I would wait just a little bit just to see if it goes like past 13. Again, when I'm seeing these two averages combined like that, that could be a little bit of a worry situation. But let's get this to 13 and then start looking at it. So, yeah, some good watch list stocks are down. Nothing where I would say is a good entry point just yet. We'll get there. PG. We'll All right. There. I let's see. Ah, PG's following the market pretty nice. I would say this is a pretty good one, man. I, I really like, um, so you're seeing some good volume here. And what I like about this, what it looks to me like it broke through a resistance point. First day out. I mean, um, I like this one, man. I think this has a good day ahead of it. I just broke through here. You might say, hey, you know what? It's kind of close to it. But I think the fact that it's uh it just broke the resistance. I think we have a good day in front of it. I think we have a no doubt, you know, why not get around this area? You know, what do you think? Maybe around this. I'm sorry. We were uh, talking about this one in the group. Uh, and earlier it was like showing rejection at 150. I was like, ah, I don't know. Maybe if it can close above. Yeah. Under, like it started. looks pretty good to me, man. I think this is a pretty nice strike one. Price. My strike price was a tad high. Okay. Yeah, so you don't want to chase on something like this, but I think this could be a very good one. So I want to put this on my favorites. I like it. Oh, so we're putting PG, PG, Procter & Gamble. I You want like volume and flow. Oh, man. Alberto Serrano. Welcome, man. Where's your next? Uh, Kroger. KR. Kroger. Kroger. Ooh, who, who gave us this one? This, uh, Jared brought it. Jared? Yeah. Love it. Jared who? Uh, Lindsay. Oh, Jared Lindsay. Nice, Jared. Love it. Beautiful breakout off a 200-day moving day average. Nice volume. Very, very nice. Beautiful momentum. What can I say? You are the man. Hmm. I think this is going to go another good day for tomorrow for sure. Very nice. Uh, I'm a newbie. Yeah, Aaron, you're doing very good, though. Aaron's one of our paid members. So hoping you're enjoying the the class. And if you're interested in getting some mentorship, some one-on-one -on -one coaching, comment coaching below. We'd love to book something. We actually have something special for you guys today. I have a new thing where it has a full course. Okay. You get full trainer mindset. You get the predator course. You get a webinar all in one package. We've been selling it online through our uh, marketing here, but we decided now anybody who's interested to get the full suite in one piece you're more than welcome to get it. Just comment uh, course on the bottom and I'll make sure to get that for you. So it's going to combine everything together for you. So if you're new, anybody who's new, who's not a paid member, we're only going to be giving away seven. So if you're interested and you haven't gotten any content from us, this has just been released uh, last week. Basically, we're just testing it out, but it worked pretty well for all the people that paid. So we decided anybody in the group who's new, who is new, and you need some really good knowledge, we're giving it to you for you totally free. Just comment course below. And somebody will and uh, somebody will get to you. Probably Chris from our team will get to you. Very good stock. Love it. Let's see what's going on next. Coca-Cola. K-O. K-O. All right. Another good one, man. I like this one a lot. Look at this. You guys are coming up with some good ones. So you could see here breaking through resistance. Mm -hmm. Look at that. I definitely move at least the 66, if not 66 and a half. Put it on the like sheet. Put it on the like sheet. Jeremy Unger, no problem. Uh, Jeremy, I believe you have a call with Chris today. So I'll make sure um, during your call, he's going to provide that for you. Absolutely. Where to next? Cost, I love uh, This is a good one, man. This is a very good one. Who gave us that? That's uh, Jared. Jared, well. very nice, Jared. What's the next? Costco. C, yeah, Costco. C S X. C O S. C O S. Oh yeah, Costco. Sorry. Yeah, that's from uh, I used to trade this stock a lot. Actually, <laughs> how do I not know that? Beautiful play again, guys. Very, very nice. Who's who gave that to us? Those three are all consumer staples related. Um, so they're right in W. So Walmart had earnings today, and what Jason is saying. Being that they're all in the same industry, they're kind of riding the coattail of Walmart earnings. Gotcha. But, well, you know what? This is a nice move either way because yeah, it's yeah. a nice flag pattern off the moving day average. I love it. Volume seems a little decreasing, but it's still very powerful volume. I think, uh, I think it's good. I like it. I'm going to put it on a favorite as well. 
The only thing I would say, you know, just it is kind of at the resistance right here. So we just got to be careful, but I think it has another good so, day in it. So would you, um, so all three of those look good, right? So being that they're in the same industry, do you feel it would be best to pick your favorite one out of those three? So this one, what's the other one? So Costco, um, Let's look. Kroger, and uh, uh, Coca-Cola. Uh, okay, let me go. Okay, so, so Kroger, KR. Yeah. Personally, this is what I think. I would invest in all three because you know what? One may not make it or something like that. Uh, you're not really putting all eggs in one basket because they're not exactly all the same. And so to me, I would diversify personally because I like all three. Um, a lot of times when we make calls on all three stocks, what yeah. happens? They all go up. Some may go up a little bit more than others. That I can't predict. But I think putting, you know, Investing something like this, I think, would be very, very huge for us. I, I like this move a, a lot, actually. So I like Kroger a lot. Yeah. Uh, yeah. If I had to pick, obviously, Kroger is the best out of just looking at it. But I think all of them have a chance to do mm. something for sure. We also got to look at what kind of options, strategies, yeah. and things like that are like bid ask spreads. So we're going to look at that later today. F L O. F L O. F L O. Another good one, man. Now, this one I like a lot, too. I mean, you guys are just giving me good ones today. I don't know what's going on. I don't know who told you guys to give me good ones. <laughs> so you can see this one has a nice upswing here, downswing with a consolidation, breaking through this consolidation with okay volume. I mean, that's the only part I'm not liking. <laughs> she said it's, you would. <laughs> it's the only part I'm not liking. Um, but I would say it's close. It's close. And it's close. <laughs> That's all I could say. <laughs> so it's hard for me to make a decision of saying no, because it is breaking through consolidation. Mm -hmm. It is very close to that mark. So I'm going to say, you know what? I'm going to go against that. I'm going to go. I'm going to put on my favorites because I, I like there's too much going on here mm -hmm. that not to like. I will say the only thing is maybe it won't make a big move. Maybe it'll have a little bit of a, smaller move than before just because of the volume but i think it's pretty still a pretty strong move again you see the volume here it looks decreasing but remember look at the, how big this move was and then it came back down so that's part of it so it's a little bit of a unique situation very very nice i like it you know so who was that oh, kelly kelly myers kelly 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 you think i didn't like it you see that kelly you know you got to be careful maybe i will like it matt thomas matt thomas what's up man how are you, bro? Uh, Carlos Molina, what's up, man? Thanks for saying hi. Les Warren, what's the deal? All right, a lot of paid members in the house, man. A lot of paid members. If you're, you know, if you're enjoying the show today, guys, let us know by giving us some hearts. We love seeing hearts. You know, Bella likes seeing hearts, my dog. You know, so those are the hearts I just did. If I could see some hearts from you guys. We'd love to see it. We work off them. It helps me out. It, you know, that way it prevents heart attacks. So it's good for you. Thank you. Thank you from the one person. And I'll, ah, here we go. There's my hearts. There's a few of them. I see you not giving me hearts. Yeah, I'm talking to you. That's right. The one that's not clicking on the heart. All right. Appreciate it. Appreciate it. Where to next? Um, CSX. CSX. That railroad. Yeah, you guys are on fire today, man. You know, we've been like 100% calling out these stocks we haven't lost one in like since february today i'm calling out a lot so we're, i don't know yeah, but i'm liking it end, right? i don't care man if they're good they're good uh this one i'm a little concerned about just because we've seen this little part already kind of very stretched when i see something that stretched you got to be careful because there's always a good chance this thing could pop down give you an example last time it did this you might see one of these things and you don't want to see one of those things because those things Please. hurt unless you're in a put option or Please. something like that. Stella, how are you? Long time no talk. What's your next? Uh, INTC. And just a reminder for all the paid elite clients that tomorrow I'm going to be going live in our paid group, in our mastermind group. Not Thursday. It's going to be Wednesday. We're going to have some good stuff. And if you're not in the paid group, mm -hmm. what are you doing, man? What are you doing? Comment, comment coaching below. I think it's time for you to check out what we offer and help you guys out. What's next? INTC, right? Uh, yeah, INTC right now is way below its moving day average, guys. But 
Now, some things on this one may look good. You know, for example, you're seeing, look at that, beautiful momentum, beautiful momentum. But again, it's not just about the momentum. It's about the candle, which is looking good. But this, to me, guys, is, is a little is a little <laughs> tough. The decreasing volume is going to hurt you every time. I've seen too many people make this mistake. They'll go, hey, man, I watched the news. I heard that this is happening. What do you think of this? I don't think. I don't think. Because I've seen too many of these things go down. And there's Mark Cunningham. By the way, Mark Cunningham is one of our paid clients. He was able to stay with us. He's He officially quit his job. He is now doing trading. Love to see that. Love to see um, uh, Mark and Stella copying each other with some CCL action here. Don't think I, I'm watching you copy each other. I see the paper underneath the desk. Come on, guys. So, yeah, right. I love it, but don't let the volume fool you. So that's why I'm going to say no on this one. You know, it could still go up, but uh, you got to follow the rules because there's a good chance it may trick you. Volume is king. Where to next, Sir Elliot? Um... G L N G G. What is it? G L N G. I'm gonna say go long. Let's go. Uh, G L N G again. Party's over on this one. I know I love the volume in here, so it's like it's hard to say, right? Because after what I just said, right. however, when you're seeing such a huge move to the top, and now you're seeing this reversal candle, this is kind of like the Ras Hurrah. This is when people are gonna tell you, Oh man, did you see the stock? Don't miss out, don't miss out. And then you're all the way here, and they're like, Uh. Um, I think I missed out. I think I missed out. So be careful with anything that's that stretch. You want to get into the party the right time. The right time was around here, right? When it broke the, the pieces, that's what we tell you to get in. This is already saying, hey, man, I got, I sorry, dude. I got caught up, but is the party still here? Nah, bro. Everybody's leaving. It looks fun, but guess what? Everybody's about to leave. Kicked. Yeah, <laughs> keg is kicked. Where's the next? MCLH. John. Oh, he said he bought it on the party. So. On the 12th? Yeah, you should be Bro, get out. taking profit. Get out. Yeah. Who, who said that? Uh, Carlos. Yeah, Carlos, man. You, you did a good job. And then you got in a good time because what you did is you got in right when it broke the resistance. Beautiful job. Love it. Get out. Right now. <laughs> Why are you still in it? So, yeah, just be careful with that one. Carlos who? Do I know who this Molina. is? Molina. Is he new? I don't remember. I so. All right. A lot of new members. Uh, what's your next? James Lewis, not new. What's up, man? How you been, man? NCLH. NCLH? I know if, if Carlos is a member. He hasn't booked the section. It sounds familiar. It, it, sounds does. Familiar. it really does. Uh, so, yeah, this broke through here. Mm -hmm. Had a nice consolidation here. Um, ah, I would say it's not bad. It's not is it the volume? The volume's not bad because it's been kind of consistent at 13 million. I, I know we had these big upswings. <clears throat> I'm going to say, you know, I think it could go up to here for sure. What my only concern right around, I don't know why I did the line right here. Let me take these lines off. Con confuse me for a second. Um, I would say we have a, mm -hmm. uh, you see I this see, right yeah, here? Uh, yeah, yeah, 100%. Yeah, I would not mess with this because right now it's support resistance. You would have to break that first for me to even look at that just because we already had a big move. So I'd be very careful with that. Uh, Carlos Molina, I know, uh, I believe you're a member of ours. I don't yeah. think you've had a coaching session. When are we booking, bro? I, I, he's waiting. Yeah. He's got to fix this thing. Is that what it is? Why don't you tell me? Collar. It's the collar. I like to pop the little. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> pop that collar. What's your next? Uh, CCL. Oh, he has some dirty on his shoulder too. <laughs> what is it? CCLs hashtag uh, cheaters over here copying each other. Or maybe it was Kawinky cool, Dink. I don't know. So uh, Carnival Corporation is is doing pretty decent because right now I think they're they just announced that they're not going to have a, a what do you call it. Ma mask, mask mandate, I think they're one of them. <laughs> if Rock continues to move and doesn't move to a strike price, you wanted is best better to just sell and take profit. Absolutely, you don't want to because when you're doing that, you're chasing. So it's if you get profit, good, get out because that means you you know the second it goes starts going down, it's really hard to catch up mm -hmm. because you're so much out of the money. Yeah. So be careful when you're talking about options and things like that. Um, this one here has a nice flag pattern broke through. I like the volume on this. I like the momentum on this. I'm going to say, I like this one. Did I just, we, this is a different one, right? Same industry, different. Same company. industry. The only thing is, again, we're looking at these pieces here. Um, 
It's crazy because a 50 cent move is 5%. So it's like, you yeah. think we could move another 25 cents? I think, I think it could move another 25 cents. <laughs> Yeah, no, Aaron, you're doing good. Keep paper trading. You are doing good. Who do I call for a coaching session? Um, we're gonna get uh Elliot to yeah. reach out to you. I, if you're in our Slack uh group, if you're if you're not in our Slack mastermind group, definitely gotta get you to join. Um, we're gonna have Elliot reach out to you after here. So, but definitely book your sessions, guys. If you're in our mastermind, where's your next? Uh, Amazon. Amazon. Amazon's way too stretched, guys. I mean, it's had a big move. Again, it makes sense because they had that whole uh, split. We we talked about, listen, it's going to do some big things. I was waiting for it to break thing. I don't know if you guys remember this. This is what I was waiting for. It broke through. Now it's kind of at this area. We're waiting for it to break through that. Again, wouldn't risk it at this point. It did what it had to do already. So not right now for this one. Where's the next? Uh, stem to the downside uh stem to the downside oh yeah i remember him he would always give us like these uh he's like a leo guy <laughs> leo dude um i don't know i mean i'd say yes but uh there's still a little bit of the huh i'd say it's still kind of here I'd give it another day, personally. I'd, I'd like to see some... So I'd like it to break down off this if we're going to do it to the downside. Yeah. It could still possibly... You know, you don't want it to... He, huh? I was saying it did similar things here and then... Yeah, the yeah. It, it's did it already. I, I could see it maybe doing something like that. I could see it going a little bit like to the 19, 20 area, depending. So I would give it a little time. Let's see some sort of confirmation to the downside because we haven't seen it. Devin Nelson, say hello, Robert Tindall. Welcome, guys. Anybody in here? This group is totally free. We just expect just hellos, <laughs> just uh, to know that you're in here. And, and you know, we'll give you some hugs. So how are we doing with this now? EA. What is it? EA. EA Sports. No, it's Electronic Arts. It's in the game. Oh, probably had an earnings thing today. <laughs> Uh, I don't know. It's 2K23. This good. I love this move, though, guys. Look at this. Beautiful consolidation from the flag pattern off this. I you know what? Oh, it's the new Madden. That's what, what it is. <laughs> ah, new Madden's out? Look at those graphics. Nice and green. Love the bullish graphics. No, this is looking really good, man. I think even whether it's not, it is or not, this was supposed to happen at some point. I love this move. This is going on my favorites. It's very strong volume. You know, it's it's kind of it's not the greatest volume, but it's very decent volume. Um, I love the uh, sh strong momentum. I love the candle. I love the fact that it's broke broken through a flag pattern. That is a nice thing to see. I think tomorrow's going to be a big day for oh, you. Wow. Yeah. Oh man, somebody got in our thing. You got it. Mm. No. You will not be in here. All right, what's your next? Uh, well, that was it there. That's it? Uh, anybody have any other stocks before we continue our show? Before we continue our show, we'd like to do our heartbreak session. This is where we want to see how many of you guys could give us some love, whether it's Terry Bauer, Devin Nelson, Robert Tinley, Carlos Molina, anybody. Let's get some hearts up in here. If you, <clears throat> all the paid members, if you're enjoying our paid uh, paid Facebook group, which a lot of you ha have access to because you've joined our mastermind program. Give me some likes. Definitely. And, and if I'd love to hear feedback. Anybody who wants to talk about our paid, paid group, what do you think about it? We'd love to hear feedback in here. You know, a lot of people from the free group always asks me what, do, you know, talk to other paid members. By all means, I would love to hear from you. Uh, Oh, James, that's a good one, man. Peloton, bro. That one is a killer. Thank you for all the likes. Thank you for all the likes. Appreciate you, man. Appreciate you. Um, see, that's a Peloton is taking some hits, man. Peloton's gotten some hits. So um <clears throat> it's so crazy what happened to this company, where it's at now. I mean, remember we used to talk about this during COVID? This was like insane. But, you know, recently they've announced that they're not doing too well. They're increasing their prices on all their bikes. The demand is really bad. 
the supply is overfilled, their new CEO, you know, this is a lot of fundamental stuff about the stock. Uh, it is going up, but it's going up based on hope right now. So as far as this, and I'll, I'll tell you what I see technical wise, not a lot of volume, a lot of decreasing, um, you know, I think long-term we're looking at something good here. I do believe that. In fact, I want to zoom out a little bit and just kind of check out maybe a little bit more on this one. So if we just go a little bit, uh, let's just say, um, um, we'll do a, uh, a weekly. I want to do like a three-year chart just to see like what's going on because there's some craziness in the stock. I mean, they have too much news. So if you look at a three-year chart on a weekly basis, it's gotten some really good momentum. So I'm going to tell you right now, short term, it's hard for me to say long term. I feel good promise about it. Even if something happens to this company, I think someone's going to buy them out and that could be a big news. But right now, um, I think it's got some good momentum going. So if you look at the dude long term, I would say this is a good stock, especially with all that volume, man. It's crazy. So definitely long term. I like it. Short term. Be careful. It's just, it's too many new things going on with it. We don't know what they're going to announce next. Could be good, could be bad. T2, love it. Beautiful move. Look at that move. Nice volume. Beautiful breakout off the channel. So when I'm seeing that, that it looks really good. Next week, we're going to have a lot of reviewing to do, huh? Mm -hmm. Nice move to the top here. Beautiful. So we're going to say good on this one. Put that on. T2, good company, by the way. I've invested in it during uh, COVID, I believe. They have they had some good good stuff happening. Uh, BAC. Uh, BAC? Yeah. All right, BAC. A little stretch for me. Uh, I know we, last week I talked to you guys about this financial. Uh, I, th I thought it was going to do very well. And I guess we were right. This is where we was at. I thought this was a nice breakout. And it went all the way up to 37, the specific stock. So I forgot who asked me about it, but you're welcome on that one. Uh, he's still posting? He posted all over. Okay. Yeah, so in this case here, I would say, um, yeah, it's too close now. now. Now we're getting to territory of not so hot, plus you're seeing decreasing volume. So at this point, we're going to say no on that one. Where's the next one? MBT Le Lemoyne Henry Renny Lemigre, what's up, man? Huh? Uh, MET. MET very stretched. Or again, this was a good stock. I think we talked about it before. I could be wrong. Some of them look similar, but I think I remember this one kind of popping up here, and now you could see how it popped up now. But guess what? It's a little stretched, and it hits resistance. Be careful. This is where. The stock is usually coming to the downside. See, Ron, Randy's a good person. They say hello. Welcome, welcome. All right, cool. Let's see, what's the next? LRCX. LRCX? Mm -hmm. LRCX2 here. Um, I don't see anything good here right now. I see a lot of decreasing volume, too much flatness going on, especially look at that. So right now, I would say an indecision on that one. Too many good stocks for me to say that to pick this one. Thank you, Lamorne, for saying hello. I appreciate you. Thank you. Thank um, you. We had a question about if you were calling Amazon to the downside. Um, I'm not calling it to the downside. Right. It's hard because, again, when I call something, it's got to be some sort of momentum indicator. So like in this case here, sorry guys, one second, here we go. Yeah, so in this case for me to say that, like what's showing me to the downside? It might still go up. I just don't have an in a decision. Like it's not showing me to the upside and it's not really showing me to the downside. So when you're seeing these candles, small candles, especially the, the with big wicks known as dojis, I would be very, very careful with that. Frank Larby, what's up? I thought it was Felix Vega for some reason. <laughs> I don't know why. Felix, Felix was active today. Was he? Yeah. My man. He just doesn't like me. Uh, and I know Amazon's still going up. It's weird. No, it's not weird. I mean, a lot of people are buying it now because it's cheap. So, you know, everyone believes in the company. It was just $4,000 for stock. Now it's a lot cheaper. So I think it has to do with it. But I would just be careful with it. 
Emmanuel Cornejo, what's up? No problem, Frank. No problem with being late. We still love you. You better pick up some good stock for us, though. You missed out some great opportunities. We, we called out a lot today. You know what we're gonna do? I got an idea. If you got, I'm gonna see. I'm gonna take a vote. I'm gonna do a review of all our stocks uh, on Thursday. So instead of waiting on Wednesday, on Thursday I'll go live to review all the stocks that we picked and see how they did. If you think that's a good idea, comment review below, and uh, we'll make it happen. We need like at least like 15 reviews. If I see 15 comments of review, I'll do it. If not, no biggie. We'll wait till Tuesday. What's next? Uh, LRCX was the last one posted. Unless L what? LRCX. That's the one we did okay. already. All right, cool. Travis Martinez, what's up, man? So we got one review. Not a big deal. Maybe some up oh, two review. Well, no, Frank posted reviews. Jay Stanley, what's up, man? Got the review there. Devin Nelson. Okay, we got four. We need 11 more. Okay, we got five. All right, five, six. Uh oh, you think we're going to hit 15? Okay. Fernando Yamas, we need your vote. Uh, seven, eight. Okay, we got all. Uh, everyone's waking up. Tom Lauren. We're, almost, we're more than halfway there. Let's see if we could get, we need seven more. Oh, six more. Six more. Uh oh, Nita How. Now you're new. <laughs> Five more or four more. Guys, if we miss it by four, uh, we got a dash by up oh, or we're getting uh review. Dash review. I don't know if that is you going to the website, dash review. All right, we got three more. Two more, two more, one more. Who if we're not gonna make it now? Yeah. Uh Jeremy Unger with the last review. At the buzzer, Jeremy, you've been on point, man. Thank you, everybody. Cool. Fern Fernanda got scared. All right, all right, all right, all right. We're gonna review. We're gonna a few more. Yeah, all right, you <clears throat> yeah, so yeah, we got like 90% of the group seeing review. All right, Thursday, we're gonna go live, same time, same bad channel, and same bad channel, same bad time, same bad channel. You know what that's from, right? <laughs> no, come on. <clears throat> uh, trivia question. Let's see if someone's age. What show had that? It, it, every time it would it would uh finish, it would say same. We'll be back next week. <clears throat> same bad time, same bad channel. What show was that? It's like a long time ago. Same bad time, same bad channel. Yeah, it was, it's a very long time ago. All right, God, thank you, James. Say Janice V Henry, welcome. All right, guys. Any other stocks we have going on here? We got a lot today. By the way, guys, we still have that uh our um. New uh, merchandising website. If you have checked it out, we have a bunch of merch available. There's going to be a couple new things. Bob and I knew it. Wow, Jared Lindsay the carry. I am impressed. They knew about Batman. Like the not not the Batman. Like all Batman. It's Batman. Pow. Kapow. Boom. Rats. What a good show. Rats. Good job, guys. All right, let's check out. Oh, look what it says. <laughs> the thing said, no, 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 no. <laughs> Someone's watching and he's negative. Let's check out some more stocks here. Uh, Neo, Neo. Neo's going to be a big hit for us, guys. I've been talking to you guys about this. I'm waiting for it to break this because when it does, it's going to be big. Remember my words here. You know, we have a huge consolidation, very similar to what Amazon had until it broke out. Wait for that to happen and then we're looking big. But make sure... You wait for it because what's going to happen is it's going to break out to the wrong side. Mm -hmm. You want to see a first initial sign of that breakout and then get in. So we have to wait on that one. Uh, oh, Jared, uh, Jared, I really was about to look at POW. He said, pow, with exclamation point. <laughs> maybe maybe Jay didn't look at you. He's like, Neo. <laughs> like, no, I don't care about the stock, man. Ronaldo Vitter, welcome, man. I wanted on that so, one, guys, overall, man, market is looking very good. Again, what I would do if I were you, go back to some of our lives, man. Check it out. Um, the consistency of our call-outs have been pretty on point. So you want to make sure you take advantage of it. <laughs> no, man, that was funny. I love it, Jared. Uh, so you want to make sure you take advantage of these things. Now, if you're new here, definitely comment course below because we have a whole suite. No one has seen it yet unless uh, you are you bought it from like an ad or something. Um, it's going to give you all a huge six module course. It's going to give you my webinar. It's going to give you a few things. If you're new, comment course below. We'll give that to you totally free. 
like, a, you know, you have to take out your wallet and just bring out some oxygen out of it. That's it. So definitely recommend it just so you can have a nice foundation of how the mindset works, things like that. Um, so this on tomorrow, I'm going to go live with all our paid members. Uh, Rani, I got you. I'm going to screenshot your name real quick here. We'll have somebody. Uh, Chris is going to reach out to provide that for you. Um, so make sure uh, you're there. So, yeah, we're going to go live tomorrow. Uh, through the paid members and i'll be back on thursday special week where we're, i'm going to go over all the results we picked today so if you're interested to see how accurate we are probably a good idea to join thursday we've been pretty on point watch this is the one time where everything goes to, you know no uh we're, we're pretty confident what we do so and again if you're in the market if you're trying to learn how to trade if you're really trying to figure this out and you've been having some issues and you lost a lot of money if you Put in five thousand dollars and you went down to zero. You're trying it again. Made some money, lost some money, and you're in that crazy race of making, losing, losing, making, and you're an emotional roller coaster. That's what we help you with. We give you absolute clarity on the market. And if you're interested, comment coaching below. We could set up a call for you and uh, talk to you, see where you're at, what your situation is, and see if we could be a fit or or not, whichever. Or or don't book a call. Whatever, whatever you want to do. It's up to you guys. <laughs> it is what it is <laughs> no it's only for people who really want to do it so either way guys it's been an absolute pleasure i will see the paid mastermind group members all the elite members and i love you all um tomorrow yes, with leo and elioto and then you'll see me back me and you'll be doing and the Lioto. thursday on thursday we'll do the other one you're gonna do two or one on thursday because what do you mean um here just one no no i mean at 1 p.m 2 p.m what is yours usually 2 p.m but i do the 1 p.m yeah so all the paid members uh elliot's gonna go live on one mm -hmm. just this one time and i'll go live <laughs> at two wait when is the master's elite program uh tomorrow what yeah tomorrow at 1 p.m aaron i know you're a paid member um on zoom. yes sir yep everything's on zoom again if you're a paid member you get to go on zoom so we could chat one-on-one -on -one. Uh, you will have the zoom link available as usual definitely not a lead here no it's, it's a different it's a listen a lead is a whole different ball game so if you're not in that club man i don't know what to tell you but aaron knows the deal if you guys are interested in asking aaron how she likes it you're more than welcome to i think aaron it's up to you She's very skeptical yeah uh, <laughs> jp Escobar, what's up, man? All right, fellas and gentlemen and ladies and everybody in the group. Seriously, really appreciate you guys. We will see you Wednesday or Thursday, whichever one. Talks to you then.